very variable. It depends which me turns up. <laughs> so you went gas pool, which I definitely approve of. Sounded good news. Time? I've been watching <laughs> all your uh, rants to other people, so hopefully I get some of that right. Yeah, overlords are so important. So, so important. I did just lose a game against Toss. I didn't get any uh, overlords in time after about 22. Yeah, it's a little bit too early to screw that up. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> but I, when the rhythm goes, I find it's kind of... Yeah. Okay, so your hatch is done. I would be eating my pot pie, but it's so damn piping hot that I'm <laughs> afraid it would scald my tongue. Alright, now you have lings out. Um, and you've made... Uh, you've made a significant, I mean, I, I don't want to say a significant number, but you've made a, you've made quite a few. Um, if you're going to make this many Zerglings, you have to be challenging him constantly. It's like he's matched me. Yep, which is good. Oh, uh, I missed the Emerald. Ha ha ha. Not exciting. It happens. But the instant you feel like you, you retake the Zergling advantage, you need to re-engage him. You don't want to give him any, any room. Definitely not. And especially since you're kind of closing on on Ling Speed finishing. If your Ling Speed yeah. finishes before his, then you'll be able to punish him. Oh my god. Yep. So he's kind of showing you what he's up to by revealing all these Zerglings. I agree. you keep all your units together. In these situations, the first player to screw up and lose his army is the one that generally loses. Keep all your stuff together. Your roach horn is done, so if you want to start making roaches, you can. Oh no. I feel like you're being a little bit overly passive with these Zerglings. Oh really? <laughs> Shit. ZVZ is a matchup where you can never stop, period. You haven't hotkeyed your natural hatchery, either that or you're just not using the larva there for whatever reason. Uh. And again, this is a, this is a general air of passivity that I do not like. So yeah, I feel like he's got a link advantage. Well, I feel what like you've got a roach advantage. Yeah, but he's gonna, he's gonna get a count at me. Don't block your ramp. from your main, I think you can still clean this up. You have 20 lings about to pop out, so I think Definitely. actually that you kind of uh, uh, avoided any sort of crisis situation. Uh, if, you want, if you want the damage report, I'll tell you that you have one more drone than him. That's Are all I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I thought like I was a year behind. He is showing quite a few zerglings, though. So that was uh, that was a that was a kind of a chaotic moment right there. But you need to sort of stabilize a little bit. And with your overlords, you see that he's continuing with his banelings. You you cannot allow another misclick like you just had. 
have to be with your roaches. Talk a little bit about that game. <sighs> what uh, what happened there? Just give me a general synopsis of uh, of the entire thing. I do feel like most of that was down to the, the first uh, overlord missing. I felt like he I had built committed to build more units and such, and then I got a block, so he sort of caught up having built more drones or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, then I switched to Roach, and then I just sort of gifted him the rest of my links. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you, 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 losing, or not losing, but missing that Overlord did, uh, did kind of put you at a small disadvantage. Uh, but he also missed one around 18 supply. So, y'all right. both had a misstep there. Um, the uh, the roach transition was uh, there's not there's n there's nothing wrong with going fast expand into roaches, um, mm -hmm. but you got to you have to be active with the zerglings that you have and obviously you cannot lose twelve lings to a single baneling, mm -hmm. and that that was a big deal. Um, the uh, the other thing is just making sure that you're constantly steadily producing units and. Um, I'll be completely honest, man. That game was really, really close right up until the very end. Uh, when, uh, like when, when he killed your hatchery, like before the hatchery died, it was dead even. Y'all had the exact same number of drones. You had 15 less lings in him, but you had like eight roaches. Yeah. So it was neck and neck. You were you were doing everything about as well as I could have asked. Now I do want to talk a little bit about the build that he used versus the build that you used. You mm -hmm. went. Speedling into Roach, he went Speedling into Baneling into Roach, and I think that's important. I feel like you kind of stip, uh, skipped a step in a natural progression. Um, fast expand and mass Speedling is really, really powerful, right? Yeah. Have, I mean, are you familiar with just doing that, just getting two bases and then making a lot of lings and just going one A? I've tried that. that. You've tried that? <laughs> and you've probably lost it a couple times. Yeah. Maybe even you've won with it a couple times. I haven't won with it yet, but I've only tried oh, it a couple yeah. of times. But so. uh, have you lost to it? I've lost to it, for sure, for yeah. sure. <laughs> it can be really, really frustrating to uh, to just feel like you just can't catch up with the Zerglings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super overwhelming. And so the natural progression is fast expansion into a lot of lings. And the reason that you make a lot of lings is because if he makes a lot of lings and you don't, you lose. Yeah. You recognize that? Yeah. All right, the next natural progression is into banelings, which is what he did. And the reason for that is because okay. if he makes a lot of lings and you make banelings, then, it, then his lings cannot effectively engage your lings. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yeah, because as long as there's yeah. a baneling there, one baneling will completely nullify any sort of zergling advantage that the other player has. So mm -hmm. um, he he included that baneling step in in the progression of his teching, and as a result of that, it became I incredibly difficult for your lings to fight his lings. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Um, and now, of course, the final step is going from the banelings into roaches because roaches make the banelings they kind of nullify the baneling and 
and, mm -hmm. uh, and and so so we sort of saw he did a really nice thing. He showed us the full progression of that of that fast expansion build, uh, fast expand into speedling into baneling into roach, and then if it had gone further, it, it would he would have added infestors. Um, we didn't get to see that much, uh, and then he has of course the option of also sprinkling in some hydras, and then of course the last step is going up to hive and getting broodlords. Mm -hmm. um, so you skipped the baneling step. You you can skip the baneling step. You can absolutely skip the baneling step. It's okay. You're, it's it's a shortcut. It's cutting a corner. And but there is a little bit of risk involved there. And you saw that risk, and he exploited that risk. And that is roaches are highly immobile. Yes. No. Yep. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Until they get a speed. But yeah. Yep. Until they get speed, they're highly immobile. So, um, so that that kind of gives him a, a window where he can use his high highly mobile zerglings to sort of punish you, and he did that. He killed your hatchery with his highly mobile zerglings. So I want you to really understand that if you're going to skip the baneling step, and it is okay to skip the baneling step. Revenge just messaged me and said I I skip the baneling step all the time. It's okay. Tons of good players do. Rhett, the guy who yeah, you're probably yeah. trying to emulate does not take the baneling step. He skips it. He goes straight to the roach. So, I mean, if Rhett can do it, and if it can work at Rhett's level, it can certainly work at our level. But you mm -hmm. just have to keep your hatchery safe because there is a window of time where he can hit that hatchery, and if you come down your ramp with all your roaches, he will run up into your main and kill all your drones. And it just takes a blink of an eye, and it will happen. So you gotta you got to make sure that ramp stays blocked, you got to get roaches down there. You have to have zerglings down there, and you have to micro your little heart, your little heart out. It just comes down to micro, because if if a baneling kills all your zerglings, and he has 30 lings to 10 roaches, your roaches are going to die. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Everything else you did was brilliant. All right. You had exactly the same amount of drones as him. You matched him drone for drone. That's perfect. You had you. I, I would be willing to wager that you made. Uh, a, as many, if not more, zerglings than he did, uh, just by virtue of the fact that y'all were so uh, even when y'all fought. Now he had a couple good baneling hits that sort of tipped the tipped the cup in his favor, tipped the scales, I should say. Yeah. But um, but you know, in general, you did you you played beautifully there. You missed you missed one overlord. Everything else was fine. I, I just I just want you to understand the progression. Okay. All right. And so, what can I do to like um, minimize this window of like when I can die? As you said, put three on the ramp and just sort of micro. There's no need for spine crawlers or anything like that. Uh, you know, y you can get away with a spine, but the spine is not necessary. And if you were to go back and watch the replay, you'll see that he didn't make one. And um, here's another thing that's kind of important: uh, the player that's going roach is is giving up early game map control, mm -hmm. and you felt that. You, sure. you did not have any idea what his natural looked like. You never really got there. That's because he has so much more mobility than you, because he's pure speed length. And pure speed length will run circles around roaches, literally. Yeah. So um, there's a really important point in here, and I just completely forgot what it was. You asked he about was free to drone almost. Say again? His, his map control meant he was free to drone as such if he wanted to, or put pressure on. Right, right, right. But, um, fuck, what was I going to say? You asked me asked if you needed a spine crawler. And the answer is the uh, spine crawler is optional. But okay, okay, okay. Now I know what I was going to say. He has the map control. So he can, he can dictate more or less what you say. So you can make that spine crawler, and you, it may or may not benefit you. But you're not going to know, because he has the map control. Make mm -hmm. sense? Yep, sure. So if he's, uh, if he's doing the right stuff, he's going to deny your scouting. He's gonna have a queen in his natural to poke your overlord away, and so you you don't know. You know he could be dr he could be droning back at home. He could be making units. As it so happened, y'all made about the same amount of units. Y'all made the exact same amount of drones. Y'all were y'all were neck and neck. Um, you just uh, you just lost your hatchery. And, and now your question was, what can I do to minimize that that window? Uh, and that yeah. the answer to that is just being more aggressive with your defense. Um, you know, block your ramp with three or four roaches, or block your ramp with two queens. And then have your roaches down in the natural, saying, "Get the fuck out of here, little zerglings! I don't want you in my house." It's a good shot, actually. So, 
Anyways. Then you're worried about injects, and what would you do when you want to inject? Like, you're, 